stop the fool? With my secret, my magnus opus, technology is going to take on a new meaning. Change forever. Unfurl. Fight the power. You, you might understand. Appearances are shadows, illusions. I used to wear a tie, okay? <laughs> For Samuel. That's right. Information technology officer. That's what I was. Yesterday. And then, things started to happen. They started pulling the knot. Pulling it till I choked. Till I couldn't do my job no more. <sighs> I was 52. They said I was too old school to work in IT. Pulling the knot. An old guy doesn't get to undo no knots. You got to carry your curses. No one was going to want me when they saw that curse was on my back. I had to cut the freaking tie before it choked me to freaking death. And now... Now is today. The day of demons on all their backs. Into the mind, talking, telling you what you're not. Only here on the street they're quiet. Here I can work. Here I'll make tomorrow. <laughs> but you can help. Yeah, I could use your help. <clears throat> Antidepressants to shut up the talking ones. Anxiolotics. <clears throat> Vanium, whatever. Anything to shut them up. Let me concentrate on my work. <laughs> oh, you help an old man of the street, and when the world kneels, that man will remember you. This is my circle. <coughs> I can't step out. I have to check it every morning to make sure it isn't broken. Voices shout from outside. <coughs> I... <coughs> I can't hear them. You understand? You understand? <clears throat> Too dangerous. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Get me the pills. And then I'll tell you. Clever girl. <clears throat> Making the right allies. <clears throat> Investing. <clears throat> Clever. I'll wait here. In my circle. Hi there. What can I get you? Please, our menu. Our tofu dishes are the highest rated in all of Taijo. Rice, dumpling, noodle. What is your pleasure? Please, I suggest you try my traditional Cantonese soy sauce. My aunt secret method. Not even my mama knows it. <laughs> well, it is the number one drink in China with noodle. Of course.
Hi there. What can I get you? Oh, yes. Of course. He's my brother, Shen. Please tell me you found him. Do you know where he is? Already more than two weeks. I am afraid for him. He never disappeared like this before. Only... There was one thing. He met a girl recently. Actually, she's... More of a woman. Lily. He changed. I thought nothing of it, but... A new style, clothes, hair, always in front of mirror, acting like tough guy in front of customer. I only saw her two times. She came home with Shen for dinner, always sitting on a secret, like her life was being lived by another. I didn't trust her, not at all. But Lily has a friend. Charlene, I think. I heard Lily talk to her. Charlene has job in Chinese Quarter, downtown. I don't know what, but if you can find her, maybe she'll know where to find Shen, or at least Lily. Thank you so much. I light a candle for Shen every night. If the sun didn't just come right out. Howdy, sister. What can this old jarhead be doing for you? Smart friend. Yeah, I'm no stranger to firearms. So, you mean business, do you? Well, let me know what catches your eye. Some say it out loud, yep. Had me a thing for weapons, military gear, even before my army days. But I love my antiques too. 20th century memorabilia, all sorts of things. And speaking so, I'm always on the recon for more. So if you empty a basement and find yourself an old trinket or two, bring them in. Just about anything pre 2K, I'll offer a fair price for. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? More likely than for that other dizzy gun sailor. My suppliers ain't good with pens. Let me take a look now. Booyah! Yes, it is. This year varmint been delayed, lost, or who knows what for two months now. Why, thank you, sister. And allow me to express my thanks by giving you a hundred credits and a box of shells on the house. What ammo are you packing there? Mm. 
Nine millimeter? <laughs> sure thing. Here you go. And thanks again for the deliver. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? Sure enough, it's my name down there. I won't ask where you got it, but if it's what I think it is. Eh, nothing. Nothing important, uh, just sir, uh, couple of magazines. Uh, gotta keep on top of the latest trends, you know? And, uh, uh, Big Bazooka's Monthly is just, uh, I'll, uh, put them in my special drawer for, uh, research. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? saying a girl with blue hair was coming in. I'd say there are other descriptors he might have used. Ah, yes. Augmentation. A am I right in thinking you have certain reservations? Trust me, there are no better hands in all of Harbor Prime than these. Look, 95 years of age and steady as a rock. Augmentation make you any less human if humanity is about progress and progress is about technology. Technology founded civilization, not the other way around. This here is the next step in the evolution of our species. The natural next step. Or are you worried about being less you? You don't need a philosopher to tell you that you're more than a physical body. Soul? Consciousness, destiny, call it what you will. But why would that essence be any worse off if you made your body better? You give it power. Jump higher, run faster, deduce quicker, and kick ass harder. Neuroweave? Oh, why didn't he say? Uh, we got 
something of a problem, but I'll come to that if you choose to have one. First, what it is. A neural weave is a neural platform for multiple high-end augmentations. You will become adaptable, scalable, and upgradable. I, I won't lie, it, it means you're heading for some drastic changes. Don't worry, the neural weave itself won't affect your appearance. It'll simply affect how your body functions on the inside. But if Digger wants you to install a neural weave, that means more implants to come. This is a spinal attachment that equips your brain to handle stimuli overload from multiple concurrent implants. Multiple. The neural weave is not a drastic change, but the implants that follow will be. I can only guess you'll be coming up against other augmented ones fighting fire with fire. It's the only reason Decker will want you augmented to this level. I can perform the operation for free, I owe Decker that much, but yeah, that's not the problem. The, the issue is, neural weaves don't exactly come in cereal boxes. This is a military-grade hardware we're talking about. My usual clients don't need it, so I don't stock it. And here we come to the big problem. I can order a neural weave, but I daren't. Clearly, Decker hasn't heard the black market is flooded with defective implants right now. It seems they bring sabotage so that the body rejects them. Nastily. I know one or two suppliers who are still running good lines, but I'm guessing not for long. And with a neural weave, way too risky to install a funky one. Consequences would be unimaginable. Wish I did. Nobody knows. At first, everyone thought it was bad luck. A, a, a production line blunder, but cases are getting more and more frequent and across all kinds of hardware. What's happening is deliberate. And the situation is only getting worse. A friend of mine, Dr. Holm, owns a drugstore next to Fix's Hope. From what he tells me, folks are barreling in with implant rejection all the time. He wants to put an end to it as much as I. Anyway, the deal is, if you want to get your hands on a safe, legit neural weave, you should first find out who's sabotaging all the implants. I'd suggest talking to Holm. He's bound to know things I don't. But go easy on him. He can be a bit frosty, sure, but he's no bad egg.
want some of that snake inside again, get us some twine. Willie so much as to be calling her a friend, all right? What is it that you want to know? None of your business, what exactly? We used to hang out, don't much anymore, and all. Look, I haven't seen Willie in a while, all right? Look, I don't know nothing about anything, all right? You're talking of trees that ain't your business and ain't mine. Now, if you want to get with me, fine. Any otherwise, leave me be. I don't know anything. Just stop asking questions. You'll get all of us into trouble. Now, please. 